Dogs are a man's best friend, and part of being best friends is knowing what your best friend is saying, without them having to say, help me, and life with dogs is no different. From being greasier and stinkier than usual to being overly clingy, in this video, we're going to go over 15 signs your dog is asking for help, so next time it happens, you know what they're saying and can help them instantly. Before we begin, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to experience this much love from your puppy. Number 15. Stinky Breath Even though dogs can't really have an amazing fresh breath all the time, there's still a usual breath they have, and you know exactly what it is. If you're noticing your dog's breath getting extremely stinky to the point that you actually want to gag, something is going on. Your dog might even extensively yawn in your face, so you can smell it for sure. Overly sticky dog breath can mean you're dealing with a plethora of problems. From their teeth to their kidneys, it can be anything, and it's a good idea to get them an appointment with their vet as soon as possible. Number 14. They are thirsty. Dogs drink a lot of water normally, but if you're noticing the dog gets empty over and over again faster than usual, it might be your dog trying to tell you that they're feeling quite okay and might need your help. One of the health issues that can make them super thirsty out of nowhere is diabetes, so it's a good idea to make sure you're keeping an eye on their water bowls all the time, although it's important to note that a lot of dogs like to tip the ball over too, so make sure you know the difference. Number 13. They're peeing everywhere. Sure, dogs aren't really like cats when it comes to going to the bathroom. You can train them to tell you that they need to pee so that you can take them outside, but that doesn't always happen. Dogs that are trained know that they need to tell you that they need to go outside to pee, but if something's going on with them and they feel like you're not listening, they might just pee right in front of you, inside the house. Even though your first reaction might be to yell at them, you might want to take a step back and try to figure out if your dog needs help instead. Number 12. They're sneezing in your face. We have to admit it's pretty cute when dogs sneeze, but that's just a little something in their nose here and there. But if they're coming up to you or in the field of view and sneezing over and over again, there might be something wrong with them and you'll want to check it out. Number 11. They're clingy. You wouldn't mind if your dog wants to love you and cuddle up all the time, but if your dog doesn't naturally do it very often and is suddenly starting to cuddle with you a lot, it might mean that there's something they need help with and are trying to stay as close to you as possible so you can figure it out. Number 10. They're not excited about walks. Whether your dog's a tiny puppy or a big boy, it probably knows some version of the word walk and might get all excited and jumpy even if you say the word in another conversation. If your dog's one of those that loves to walk but suddenly starts refusing to go, it's a cause for concern. When a dog stands their ground and they'd usually be running out the door, something is going on with them and you need to figure out what it is. Number 9. They look greasy. Your dog's coat should be nice, shiny, and smooth if you're taking proper care of it. If your dog comes up to you for pets and you notice that they're a lot greasier than usual, it's a clear sign that something's going on with their insides and that you might want to know. If they're getting too dirty and aren't really keen on a bath, you might have an underlying health condition you need to get checked out. Number 8. They keep hiding from you. Many dogs play a bit of hide and seek here and there, and it's pretty cute when they do so. But when your dog's inside in its usual space, it suddenly begins hiding from you and purposely waits for you to find them, there might be something wrong with them. Number 7. They keep tilting their head. You've probably seen cute videos of dogs tilting their heads every time they hear the voice of their human or something else that they want to focus on. 
and that site is pretty darn cute. But this cute site can immediately turn out to be not so cute if you notice them coming up to you and tilt their heads a lot. They don't have to come to you, they can also just do it while focusing on something else. If they're overly tilting, it's probably a sign that they really can't see out of their eye, and it's almost always the left eye too because if they're feeling dizzy or have another underlying health issue going on, they can no longer see out of their left eye because of stress and need your help. Number 6. They're Itchy Dogs do like to aimlessly scratch different parts of their bodies and emit their true gymnastics abilities, which is usually considered okay. However, if you're seeing your dog scratch a bit too much, there's definitely something going on with their bodies and they need help. This might also look like they're so itchy that they're asking you to itch them when they're just asking you to notice. Super itchy dogs, especially those that are continuously itching their ears or heads, may need medical attention as there are signs of skin conditions, parasites, or something even bigger. Number 5. They're chewing everything. Yes, dogs are commonly associated with chewing up slippers or anything else that you might consider a prized possession. But what a lot of people don't know is that there's a difference between regular, playful chewing on things and being destructive enough that you get noticed. A dog that is really trying to tell you something will do something that they know will get your full undivided attention, destroy your property. They might start going after all your clothes, your charging wires, and even sometimes your entire furniture. If you're noticing this behavior, it's possible that your dog has developed separation anxiety and needs your help to feel okay again. Number 4. They've got droopy ears. Everyone can agree that dogs with droopy ears are cute as heck, but that's only the case when your dog is supposed to have droopy ears. If your dog is a breed that's usually got upright ears and they come to you with ears drooping, it's not them being cute, it's them trying to tell you that they need help. If a dog has pain in its ears, which is usually caused by infection, it'll droop its ears to try to counter the pain. This isn't always a massive infection, too. Sometimes it can be something as simple as them having water trapped in their ears, but even with that, they will need your help to deal with it. Listen to them if they come with droopy ears and figure out how serious things are so you can appropriately help them. If droopy ears are paired with overly itching ears and they seem to be running a fever, rush them to the vet immediately. Number 3. They're constantly chasing their tail. One of the classic cute funny dog things that dogs do is chasing their own tails. This is something so weird and strange that every time a dog does it, it makes everyone stop and stare at the odd but pretty cute sight. However, this is something that's only funny some of the time. If your dog keeps coming to you and just immediately goes into a zoomy tornado where they're just chasing their tail over and over again, there's something else going on. There are a few reasons that a dog will continuously chase its tail. It includes something going on with their ears which could make them lose balance or something going on with their bottom that they're trying to catch. Either way, if they can't catch it, you have to help them. Number 2. Their gums are getting darker Dogs have their tongues out most of the time, so almost all dog, their owners, you should know that their dog's gums look like on a regular day. If your dog has come to you with their mouth open and you notice that their gums are not as natural pink as they usually are and are actually getting darker, then there's something going on with their mouth. If you don't regularly brush the dog's teeth, they could develop gum disease and that's probably what they're showing you and they need help with. Number 1. They're eating dirt Dogs will pretty much eat anything and while that comes with its own set of pros and cons, there's usually some nutritional benefit to the random things they eat, but something that doesn't is dirt. If you're out on a walk or playing in the yard and your dog digs in the dirt and starts to eat it, something is going on with them and it should be taken seriously. Eating dirt is a very common sign of anemia and they'll need changes in their diet and possibly medication and supplements to fix that, after a visit to the vet, of course. 
Alright, comment down below which of these dog cues you already knew about and are there any other cues we missed out on? Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to InfoLab, and we'll see you in the next one.